What's up guys and welcome to the show. My name is Chaptoek Boyo and we are going to review the real housewives of Nairobi. I know I'm late. Yes, yes. But I'm planning to release episode 1 and 2 this week and then episode 3 and 4 next week. And from there on we'll just be following as the episodes come out. So let's get into it. So we are introduced to the show uh with basically a montage of Nairobi. So we get to see beautiful buildings, nice scenery and you see also the expressway and I'm like, "Where the production fast tick." And when you look at the quality and the pictures tick. So there already I'm hooked. I'm hooked to this show. <laughs> Then now real montage of the ladies we get to see Susan, Mine, Sonal, Vera and Lisa dancing in that montage and I'm like damn I don't think you guys paid attention to that montage because as it ends you see Lisa dancing and I'm like the African woman that made that muzungu dance may God for give you because uh, lisa lisa mejaribu but uh uh-uh. uh nah nah then the show starts and we introduce to the first real housewives of nairobi which is susan and susan shows has uh, her two kids and i think they had gone to play basketball there and then the show cuts to sonal's place and see sonal in her backyard with the swimming pool there she's pouring some champagne and then basically the wardrobe and I'm like damn luxury pure opulence anyway so sonal gets on a call with susan and they agree they will meet later so they decided and settle on susan's spa and While at the spa, Susan shares about her divorce that it has been finalized and Sonal says it's good since uh they finalized it very fast. And then Susan suggests to Sonal, I think we need to hook you up on a date. And Sonal is like, "No. I still love the father of my children." So apparently even her she's divorced but she still loves the the father of her children. And at first I was like, okay, you can have love for someone or for an ex-partner because you have children and it's someone you have known for a very long time. You can have love without being in love. But the second statement she made is when I realized I think this woman is still in love with this ex because she said that she's those old romantics and she only loves one person in her life and i'm like what happens to the ex husband when he remarries or moves on do you still remain hopefully in love <laughs> with this ex husband so i just think so now you can have your love but move on and then they get actually in a call with um dr maria who is married to a romanian and dr maria basically says that she will be in town later in the week and they should link up and that caspasin ends there then we are taken to vera's home beautiful stunning gold themed home and then to none show up of your car asia and her husband brand um rather brown mauzo and it's really such a beautiful family then vera's friend amina comes to visit her and amina brings her uh, a box of flowers plus chocolates and Vera gifts her uh red bottoms hey jamanen you know when you look at the two gifting 
it's called i think it's a hypergamy of gifting <laughs> because this is a menace gift her a flowers and chocolates which which it, it's good then this is veras red bottoms i match i match but anyway maybe amina has gifted her something else in the past something bigger that this is just aka aka non factor and i'm here bitching and then they show us veras businesses this is the vspa in mombasa plus the i think the wellness the healthy thing what's the name uh the vitox thing and i loved the fact that she showed her business apart from just showing us the drama and uh the lifestyle thing she's pushing also her business then she says uh in one of her diary sessions that she is her husband is the most handsome man on earth ai vera wacha uongo hiyo on earth no so where do we where do we live the morris chestnuts the shemamo the michael b jordan just to name <laughs> a few uh, brown also might be handsome to you and maybe to a few other people but not to the whole world but anyway let's move on and then vera gets on a phone call with sona and they decide they'll have dinner later in the week and this dinner is scheduled at around 5:30 p.m. and they show us the day of the dinner Sonal is there early by around 4 p.m. then um just waiting for Vera. Let me tell you. Vera checked in at 7:30 p.m. I don't think I'll be waiting for you 3 hours 3 hours 3 and a half hours late. I don't think I will be waiting for you because she was that for 5 6 7 7:30 is when she arrives at a village market for this uh, dinner. It's either Sonal is a really good friend to Vera or she really likes her or maybe we'll go and set up you shoot and then production wakasema you know what since we are here itabidi tungoje Vera because to sha lock in the restaurant to sha set up lights what do you mean we have to go so hence so now had to wait for vera but personally i i don't think i'm going to wait for you for, <laughs> for 3 hours for a freaking dinner that we already communicated so if we agreed the dinner is going to be at 5:30 as they agreed i'll be there at 4 cuz i keep time and then um maybe wait until 5:30 or 6 latest and that is if vera has communicated and told me you know what i'm going to be late so maybe there's something that happened on her way then i'll give her an allowance of 30 past 30 minutes girl i'm going home and i think we will just need to schedule this whole dinner thing what also pissed me off was when she said that you know so she reaches the the dinner and then sonal tells her oh you're late and then vera goes on and say you know uh I, sometimes i just wake up 10 hours early and i'm late no 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 You know it is okay to waste your time by yourself but do not waste other people's time So that's just simply that So the conversation changes and then Vera talks about uh, cloud ch- chasing on social media uh, by saying how her booty had 
deflated and all that but she went on again to say that her booty is real but she's done her boobs and her veneers aha uh-huh. so the scene again changes then we're introduced to Lisa and she's in her house and she talks about being born in Tanzania in Moshi and then relocating to Kenya and living here for 29 years she also talks about her kids who are basically adults a boy and a girl who are in their 20s uh she opens up about her her being diagnosed with cancer stage 4 cancer and being given only 10 days to live which is scary and sad at the same time but thank god she's still here with us because that was around to to seek this is 10 plus years later and she's here with us so susan also comes to see lisa and she invites her to her party and she says it's strictly black i'm just wondering when did kenyans observe dress code <laughs> at events but anyway lisa says uh, it's okay and she will come to her events She also sends a gift package to all the women and it was um packaged according to their personalities which I thought it was really thoughtful for Susan to do that personalizing that gift that was really thoughtful by the way Susan then the day of the event arrives and it's at the tribe hotel and guess who arrives first of course lisa the muzungu <laughs> arrives first i know kenyans want to be a, the first ones so lisa arrives first um among other guests waka arrive up the second housewife was susan who was the host of the event and she checks in with a chopper with her BFF Michelle and they're looking all glam by the way and then she says she has to go and change so she goes removes a black number she was wearing and wears um a yellow dress and i thought your your dress is yellow ilikuwa tu inaka heavy unaona ilikuwa inaka tu marinda i i preferred actually the black one but anyway she wanted the yellow dress so she comes back and then and then the third housewife to arrive was Sonal in her a military sh- suit and she looked really nice i like it because i like suits and pants and all that uh, then we are introduced to Dr. Maria now Dr. Maria comes in she's this beautiful stunning edgy model looking like <laughs> woman it cuts to a different scene where she recorded wearing white and she talks about her life in Romania her challenges there how she had suffered a miscarriage and also why she decided to chop her hair and i think she said it's because she was studying and she didn't have time for hair so she decided to shave off her head which is really beautiful actually keep that short hair I love it. And then we get to see who checks in. Vera Sidika checks in. <laughs> Not wearing black. Mm. She's wearing a like animal print uh, stretchy dress. And you know she just reminded me of those women in uh what's it called in TikTok when they say pregnancy humbles you. I don't think this pregnancy has humbled Vera at all. This pregnancy has not humbled Vera. She was looking stunning. Though she was not wearing the theme of the night, but she was looking stunning. The the car bodycon dress was huh? fitting the right places and then the makeup was on point. And I think she was wearing heels. I think so. She, she was wearing heels. Like, hey, Vera Rainbow pambana nayo. <laughs> Now, so the sixth housewife to check in was Mine Kariuki and she also was not wearing the 
the theme of the night she wasn't wearing black she was wearing this uh what do you call it she was wearing this unaona ile nguo ya rurashio but sio ya rurashio yani the colors colors ya rurashio so she was wearing this orangish brownish yeah kind of kind of dress and let me tell you susan was pissed because she went to change to the yellow dress because she wanted to outdo all her guests who were supposedly supposed to be in all black but that was not the case and she actually gives susan the flowers because she's late and i appreciated that at least apologize vera learn from me now. when you're late apologize or gift someone something so she gave her flowers and lisa commented on mine's blonde hair and said it looks cheap i'm like her hair looks okay someone need, needs to tell lisa how much this parasis <laughs> costs <laughs> it's not cheap might look cheap to you but it's not cheap so they sit down they play this game and lisa ends up winning the main gift of the night which is a business class ticket and susan says the dinner is ready and the ladies need to move now to the the whole dinner setup and this is where the drama starts because this is dinner from hell or what do you call it the last supper <laughs> So she goes again changes to the third dress which 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 just made me think I just thought maybe she was dressed by a designer and the designer said if I'm going to give you my clothes I better see them on the show hence alinge na chopa na black akaenda ka change kwa yellow na akamalizia jina na white That's just my thought. I thought maybe there's a designer behind her clothes who gave her clothes for free and now they needed that visibility of their staff. And on the dinner table, uh we see Dr. Maria seated next to Vera and she was talking about uh, being overweight. Apparently she was weighing 110 kgs and she lost it and she also talks about racism in Romania and people just being mean and calling her monkey and let me tell you Lisa Christopherson was very quiet that racism talk and <laughs> Dr Dr Maria talking this this was Lisa I think she was just trying to play safe being the only white person in the table and and people are talking about suffering in the hands of white you can't really talk much so she was quiet and then uh, Dr Maria all of a sudden just attacked Vera and she told her the way she used clout to promote her video was vulgar and inappropriate I'm like where does Dr Maria live because in this Kenya if you're not using clout to promote your stuff your stuff doesn't move as much look at all celebrities everyone is doing it everyone is using clout to promote their stuff and dr maria was really mad and i think it's because she's a plastic surgeon or she works in the plastic surgery field that she saw Vera using plastic surgery for clout was not an appropriate thing and she w- she even went further and said that uh what message was she passing to the young ones i'm saying plastic surgery is not actually a message to pass to the young ones first and secondly Everyone uses clout in Kenya so that's not even a big deal though when you check out a Vera song on YouTube I think it's the most disliked song 
So that clout might have not worked so well for for her. Anyway, Vera was not taking that retired comment that Dr. Maria said lightly and she said I am not retired you you the person who is retired and even decided to go and marry an old muzungu and retire together hey vera lakini yo ilikuwa low ilikuwa too low sana <laughs> anyway so who vamuses from this table Dr. Maria all of a sudden says oh she's dealing with jet lag and decided to leave the group of girls and goes home. And if you could see that table, Sonal kept on standing, drinking champagne in the background, coming back standing. She kept she kept on disappearing and appearing while Mine was that kachik with with champagne and then she was checking these chicks out <laughs> so when dr maria leaves who comes and replaces her on her seat michelle and then uh, michelle talami says you know i was sitting here before dr maria came and took my seat but anyway she started talking to mine and the issue was they meet at events but they don't say hi to each other and then mine thinks said i say hi i always say hi to you and michelle says no you do not say hi to me all of a sudden that was a big deal if you don't know each other if you're not friends with each other why do you have beef when people don't say hi to you why i don't think that beef should have been there and Mine was also not happy with being attacked by Michelle and she went on on her diary session and she said you know uh we write checks where you write your instagram captions hey and thank god that thing goes in a diary session before, because <laughs> Michelle did not hear that i think she just watched like the rest of us hey that was a low blow that thing trended that was the night mine was trending everyone liked her the caption is trending i think right now she's even selling caps t-shirts mine won that cap of we write checks uh, you write instagram captions i want <laughs> i want i want that cap so vera also joined in and said that women fight for two things and it is either money or men and when she sees uh, Michelle she doesn't see money damn that was a low blow <laughs> that was a low blow but a very funny one also now uh they kept on arguing all of a sudden mine stood up and she was like i'm i'm going home to my family i'm not taking this and then she started speaking in swahili and michelle was like okay so you've switched to swahili and i'm like this is kenya switch hadi sheng what are you telling her that you're switching to swahili switch until to sheng ata a switch mbaka since she's a kakariuki switch to kikuyu <laughs> that part i like to mine for that for calling her out of a high horse of english english near colonizers anyway so mine walks out and then the whole fight cools down and vera starts uh, twerking and uh, susan decides to join in this twerk fest and i'm telling you if lisa had twerked I think her twerking would have moved more than Susan's. I'm sorry Susan but I think uh, your twerking is not for you. You, you are like a size 4, size 6. You are like this compact a petite bundle of goodness that cannot twerk. I'm I'm just sorry to say that. Anyway, the show ends there. 
And my take on this episode is basically first uh Vera was very likable for some reason. Her, even with her pregnancy, she wasn't bitchy, she wasn't looking lazy, tired and so forth. She was actually very lively. So Vera was lively. Uh Susan came out as as braggish especially when the show started but towards the end of the episode i think you get to see her her true self so you you might get the braggish susan at some point but again you just never know because it's just the first episode uh mine is a fire so jua ukiguza hiyo live wire utachomwa um so now sonal is the buddha buddha of the group she's also she she's always zen yani she chooses what to do and you cannot just string her she at least she controls her emotions she just does, she does not actually just react mm-hmm. dr maria you beef navera i don't think it was called for but anyway uh i liked her fashion i liked her how she embraced her africanness and her sense of work ethic stroke business woman you know you you inspired she's a woman you would like to be meet and do good stuff with so i liked that uh, about her but the cutiness no hey michelle Michelle had mean vibes na hiyo contacts pia haikusaidia she just looked mean for the audience i have not interacted with michelle in the past but she just looked mean on the show who have i forgotten lisa lisa is just in her own world let me tell you she does not <laughs> you do not even know if she knows some of the stories or she doesn't know she's just in a car, her own world there anyway that was the review for this episode see you on the next one bye